Tarp, I'll talk about the uh, big record breaking with Moody there today, set a Michigan record. What's, what's that mean to you and this university closing out this phenomenal season you had here? Well, first I'll say, um, you know, just give you an update on Berkeley Edwards. Um, Berkeley, uh, everything looked good when he left the stadium. Uh, he did have a concussion. Pretty good, uh, pretty, you know, he had a pretty good sized concussion. And, um, and looked good when he left here, but he was taken to the hospital for precautions. So uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have later updates there, but he was responding, talking, and uh, moving. So uh, you know, felt good. Uh, felt good that it's, um, doctors have it, you know, well under control. So prayers are for him, though. Abundant prayers for him. Um, Jake Moody. Um, what a what a performance. I mean, you talk about 139 years of Michigan football and to set a record, six field goals. Um, that was uh, you know great job. He learned uh, pregame that. You know, that uh, looked like he, you know, we got him, he had to get ready. And, uh, you know, he was, he was good. I mean, there's no, no facial expression change, no, uh, you know, no body language change. He just went about his business of, of getting ready. And then uh, same when he was in there kicking, you know, he was making them and, you know, no, no expression. Cool customer. Good thing for a kicker. Um, but uh, really big day for, for Jake Moody. And, and Will uh, Will Hart had had some uh, had a couple of at least really good holds uh, as well, and Cam Cheeseman was that whole battery was was working good, and you know every single field goal was big today. A couple things, Jim uh, Chase Winovich. Any update on him? Yeah, things are uh, things are progressing well with Chase. Uh, X-rays were uh, were negative here at the stadium, and took him to the hospital as well. Uh, for further tests, CAT scan, et cetera, and uh, those came out negative. So I think we're in a good place there. And then uh, what did you see on the play just before the half? looked like they went to spot the ball. The Indiana kid might have kicked it or something. Did you get an explanation on that? Yeah, I mean, not a, not a great one. Um, you know, I asked them, you know, the, they kicked the ball. <laughs> and, um, and the response was from the, the umpire was that he didn't mean to. So I further asked, um, you know, that doesn't seem like a judgment call. You know, it either it, the ball is either kicked by one of their players or not, in my opinion. So a way to, uh, you know, but that was the response that he didn't mean to. And it, so had he meant to, then it would have been a would have been a penalty. Jim, uh, the red zone. Uh, what was it that led to so many field goals there today? Well, the team moved the ball good, 8 out of 11 scoring drives. And, um, yeah, we were, we, um, we were um, all six field goals resulted uh, from us, you know, being stopped in the red zone. Jim, this way, I just wanted to, to clarify on Chase. Was it a, a shoulder or a head? or um, And do you know, like, if whether what your expectations are for him at Ohio State next, yet? Um, well, let I me mean, just just to tell you that the X-rays were negative and the CAT scan was was negative as well. So we won't, won't go into what body part it was, but Coach Terry Collins, it's all about sports. You guys had some pretty big games here at the Big House this year. Can you sum up what the energy was like between your team and the crowd here this year? Um, yeah, it. Uh, was it, it? It was really good. Um, uh, got great home support. Won all of our home games, and and uh, you know, I thought it got you know more supportive as we as we win every single game. So um, it was neat. They came up with a few things, uh, you know, some new things too. That was some of those lights that they do and some of the songs they sing, etc. Um, but you know, tremendous support. Jim, with what's looming next week, was this kind of a difficult game just to get through? You, of course, wanted to try to be healthy, but just get past Indiana. And do you feel like your team now is ready for Ohio State? Yeah, we, we, knew, we knew what kind of game this was going to be. It's the kind of way game it always is uh, when we play Indiana. They, uh, 
they do a great job, and we've had you know, close games with them every time we play them. Uh, two overtime games and two basically 10, 10 point, one 10 point, one 11 point game. Um, I thought they did a heck of a job. Uh, Mike DeBoer did a really good job today. I thought his his plan was really good, and and uh, our guys were, you know, just totally into it, totally locked in, totally focused. Uh, you know, playing as hard as they could, as fast as they could, as long as they could, and um, you know, just really, just fighting the whole game. Um, really proud of our team. Teams, you know, we're in a playoff playoff mode, which you know that's that's our mindset right now is. Playoff wins are big. Yeah. Wins against Big Ten teams in late November are huge. Um, so really, really proud of our team. But thought they, you know, they, uh, our guys really played, uh, played hard and fast and tough, and you know, left it out there in the field. Defensively, uh, you know, Devin Bush had a huge game, like 11 tackles, um, and Tyree Canal was up there, nine or ten tackles. Rashawn, nine or ten tackles. Um, guys are really, really playing hard. First time you've been down at the half in a while. Can you talk about in particular what your defense did better in the second half to, to really hold them down? Um, yeah, yeah, there was uh, a justice made. I mean, they did a, they did a good job, um, you know, in the first half. And we kind of, at least we knew what, what kind of game it was going to be. You know, really, really understood it at after, uh, you know, at the half and 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 made the adjustments. Um, Don made 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 some great calls as well. I mean, they were they were um, <clears throat> they did a good job. Um, but figured out what they were doing and then then made the adjustments in the second half. Jim, with, with Jake Moody, a, a true freshman, finding out. You know, at such a late hour that he was going to be a kicker. Did you take the time to talk to him a bit, and and also just talk about mentally what he had to accomplish today, being such a such a new player, just coming to this and, and have to hit these big kicks. Yeah, I mean, it's just great accomplishment. That's we set a set a record in the program that's that uh, as good as Michigan. You know, that uh, it's been around for 139 years playing football. That's that's a huge accomplishment. Um, just uh, and as as a true freshman, that was, you know, it was it was great. He was like I said. I mean, his his demeanor or anything didn't didn't warrant anything. Uh, didn't change at all. So, you know, there was didn't look like he needed a pep talk or a, you know a Snickers bar or anything. He just <laughs> you know just you know, get warmed up and go out there and didn't has didn't hesitate to to give him the chance to do it and. And he just kept coming through. Jim, uh, when did your focus shift to Ohio State, or when does it? And can you give us some early thoughts on that game and everything on the line? Um, yeah, I mean all those things. Um, pretty pretty quick at will, you know. Gonna enjoy this one, this uh, this win with our team, you know, for this these moments, and then and we'll shift to Ohio State. Coach, uh, right here. It's been now 32 straight years you guys have beaten Indiana. Record set back by Bo. It's a big day honoring Bo 12 years ago. What's that mean to you just going through your day? Think about Bo set this record 31 years ago. Now we continue it it's for 32 years going straight now. What's that mean to you? A record set by Bo and now you're continuing it going forward. Um, yeah, I mean, I was there was so much, there was so much, um, you know, so much on the line. Um, in so many regards, you know, senior day, you know, guys playing their last last game at Michigan Stadium, um, you know, everything that's you know implications of, of you know needing to win the game, and uh, in terms of the Big Ten championship, which you know, Bo meant, meant a lot to Bo, you know, um, and all of us. So, and John Falk is as our honorary captain. I mean, there was there was a lot a lot of things. Uh, motivating the team today. Jim, I had two. Why, why the move to Stuber, right tackle? Yeah, Juwan uh, came out of the last game. He was working through something and and uh, you know, tried hard to go, but uh, and felt like you know, Stuber was more more uh, would 
be more effective. And uh, hopefully Juwan get him back to 100% next week. And going into the Ohio State game, do you go in with, with Jake as your kicker? Or is it, you know, will you compete this week, Quinn, Dan, Jake? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see this week. Next week will be the second time in the last three years that Ohio State Michigan is a, a top 10 matchup and there's playoff implications on the line. Is, do you feel like that's living up to the expectations that were set for you when you got here? And what does it mean? Do you have that the rivalry be that kind of nationally relevant game with you involved in it? Um, yeah, we're ha we're uh, we're happy to be in the position, and you know we'll you know, do what we do, and that's uh, you know get ready for it and prepare and. And uh, expect our team will be be really uh, really fired up to play and do what they you know do what they have been doing you know, every week of this season, which is playing as hard as they can, as fast as they can, playing as long as they can, you know, playing their playing hard, playing their best, playing for Michigan. That's what this team this team is uh, has been doing. No, I don't really think about that. So, I'm peeling back the onion and, <laughs> you know, peeling back the layers of the onion type of question. You know, just, you know, just proud of our guys, where they played today, and uh, now on to the next game, on to the big game, you know, on to the championship game. Onward. Jim, that final drive of the first half, what happened there? You guys didn't get any points, and the clock ran out. Yeah, I mean, you saw what happened. We were, we were driving good, and uh, we used our last time out you know, uh, about, the, about the 28, 30 second mark. And then uh, it's third and one. We ran the ball, got the first down, uh, had our second play ready and called uh, during, the, during the timeout. Uh, went to uh, the throw. We thought we could. We thought we could. Um, you know, hit McCune and you know, get him in the end zone, get him out of bounds. At least, if it didn't get if it didn't get in the end zone, we thought it would get out of bounds. And uh, their player made a great play on it, made a great tackle in the in the field of play. Uh, clock was moving, so we you know we called to to clock the ball to kill it, uh, kill the clock, and you know, there seemed to be some some problems getting the ball back in, and um, you know, whether that was us not getting the ball to the official. Quick enough, or uh, seemed that they kicked the ball. <laughs> so I don't know. Have to look at that. But uh, yeah, that's what happened. Unfortunate. Uh, Jim, you, you mentioned earlier, uh, you know, playoff mode. Uh, every game's a playoff. It, has that been that way since week two for you guys? Um, I don't know exactly when that uh, when that seemed to kick in, but it. Uh, been around for a while. It's the nature, really the nature of college football. At least when the Big Ten, yes, for sure when the Big Ten season started. 